5.30. Fox 4 News starts now. Hello and good evening. I'm Steve Eager, first on Fox 4 News at 5.30 tonight. Six people have filed a civil lawsuit saying when they were children, they were sexually abused by church elders within local Jehovah's Witness Kingdom halls. Attorneys for the plaintiffs, who are now adults, say this involves a major cover-up that spans decades. Fox 4's Dion Anglin is in our Dallas newsroom with more, including some reaction from one elder who is named in this lawsuit. Dion. Yeah, that's right. The lawsuit was filed Thursday. It speaks of years worth of abuse to five girls and one boy. And their Dallas attorney thinks there are more abuse cases. The lawsuit alleges six children were fondled, groped, molested, and exposed to sexual acts during the 1990s while spending time with Jehovah's Witness elders in North Texas. This Kingdom Hall in Dallas is named as a defendant in the suit. Also this hall in Plano and another in Greenville. What we see repeatedly is that when one person has the courage to speak out and word of that spreads within the community, then others, um, others have the courage to. The suit claims a church elder at the time, Reginald Tyrone Jackson, committed many of the crimes. A public records search reveals Jackson has served time in prison within the last 10 years for indecency with a child, sexual contact, and is a registered sex offender. The six unidentified plaintiffs are now young adults. Each says the abuse spanned years during their childhoods when they were 13 or younger. We visited the address in the lawsuit listed as the place where Jackson lived and could be served. That is this address, right? Yeah. And you're Reginald Tyrone Jackson? Uh-huh. But you don't think this is, this, this is not you? No, that must be a state. That must be for something else. The man who answered confirmed he's Jackson, but seemed to know nothing about the claims against him including the complaint which says Jackson groomed member children and then while acting in a position of authority and trust sexually abused them. It also says the governing body did not report this conduct to the authorities and did not otherwise warn members of the general public. The Turley law firm in Dallas filed the civil suit. It seeks at least one million dollars for each plaintiff. You know hopefully um, these plaintiffs, the people that we represent, these young adults coming forward and speaking out will encourage others to do so and seek the help that they need. Now, the governing body of the Jehovah's Witness faith is the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York, Incorporated. We have reached out to that entity for reaction, but so far it has not responded. Steve? Okay, Dion, years ago when this allegedly was going on, was there any outcry to the police? Was there any criminal investigation on, on this accusation? Well, according to the lawsuit and the filing attorney, no. They explained there was, there was an outcry okay. made, but because this particular faith requires there must be at least two people to attest to an incident, uh, alleged incident of abuse before it's even looked into. There was never an internal investigation. Nothing ever reported to police. And that's something uh, the attorneys say they're hopeful that this lawsuit can change. Steve? Okay. Dion Anglin in our Dallas newsroom. Thank you.